Today in the Audio Hotline studio, we have the MXL BCD1. This is a dynamic XLR microphone, and it is also considered a broadcast mic. But I'm not going to get too specific right now, because we got to play that intro. Welcome all audio nerds to the Audio Hotline. As I stated before, this is the MXL BCD-1. Today I am recording the BCD-1 into my Zoom H6 with the gain set at about 55%. As of this recording, you can purchase this microphone on Amazon for an extremely specific price of $132.24. They had to get you for that $0.24, didn't they? It's important. Like every single video I make, I do not put any post-processing on anything. I do not change anything in post, unless, of course, I tell you, like when I do the post-processing test, then, of course, I'm using processing, but any other time, not doing it. I've actually had this BCD-1 for quite a while now. Actually, my buddy over at Obscure Mics sent this over to me with, like, a little preamp for uh, for, for free, because he's awesome. He's an awesome guy. And quick side note, if you haven't checked out his channel, you should check out his channel. So I've actually had this microphone for months now, and I've periodically plugged it in and used it actually quite often. For some reason, I've had a really hard time deciding if I like this microphone or not. I don't know what it is. I just struggle with it for some reason, you know? I initially love it, then I hate it, then I'm like, eh, it's fine. Then I'm like, no, it's not fine. And then it's just back and forth, back and forth. So after using it for the last while and flip-flopping on my initial opinion and then my second opinion, I decided how I feel about it officially, and I'm ready to do the review of it. I am ready this time. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, let's go ahead and start talking about some of the details of the BCD-1. First off, let's talk about what comes in the box with this microphone. When you purchase the MXL BCD-1, it will come with the awesome MXL plastic hard case. I just absolutely love these. This microphone will come with some documentation and an MXL sticker, which I'm always psyched about. It comes with a windscreen and, of course, the MXL BCD-1 microphone. Now, one thing about this microphone is that it does have a mounting system built right into it, so you do not need to use a microphone clip or anything like that. You just very simply use this mount. When it comes to the accessories and build quality of this package, I initially did think it was a very good deal for $132.24. So specific, whatever. But as time went on, I actually do have some complaints about it. But positive things first, I think that the plastic carrying case is fantastic. You can never have too many of these hard plastic carrying slash storage cases. They are awesome. Now when it comes down to the build of the windscreen, which we obviously have on now, figure we may as well test it out. Because it is super thin, I've always kind of worried about how much plosives it's really cutting out, but we'll get to that in a little bit. When it comes down to the build of the microphone itself, I do not have a problem with it. I think it's built really well, especially for $130. Now, the biggest issue that I have isn't with the microphone, but the mounting system. This mounting system started out really well. It worked fantastically. Even when I'd have an XLR cable plugged into it, it wouldn't pull the microphone down or anything. It was plenty sturdy, worked well. But now when I have an XLR cable plugged into it, I pretty much have to lay it flat on its side like this because this is what happens if I don't. And may I just add real quick that these are as tight as they possibly can be. I've even resorted to like pliers and stuff, like tightening this as much as possible and it still won't work. I can't even budge that. I can't even budge it. Nothing. I don't know if this is a common issue with this mounting system. I really hope it's not, but it's definitely something to be aware of. Well, now that we've gone through some of the basics of this microphone, let's go ahead and nerd out, get real specific with some specs. The MXL BCD-1 is an XLR dynamic microphone with a cardioid polar pattern. MXL recommends this microphone for broadcasting, podcasting, voiceover work, vlogging, recording vocals, and instruments. When looking at the frequency chart, you can see that there is a boost in the lows and a boost in the highs, and there's a bit of a dip in the mids 
at least when you compare it to the bass and high frequencies. Well, now that we've gone through the basics and the specs, let's go ahead and test this microphone out. During these tests, I will use the windscreen as well as not use the windscreen so you can see what it sounds like both ways. Let's go ahead and get close to this mic. If you want to pull your BCD1 in real close and give it a little smooch, here's how it's going to sound. <laughs> Maybe smelling and kissing foam is more of your thing, so you get real close to this windscreen. It smells kind of chemically, I'm not gonna lie to you, but here's how it would sound. All right, this next one's gonna get a little loud, just preparing you for it. Let's do some plosives. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. 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 Now let's go ahead and check out the polar pattern of this microphone. And just as another test, here is me talking into the front of the microphone. Here is me talking into the side of the BCD-1. And here is me talking into the back of the BCD-1. Let's do a background noise rejection test with this little Apple keyboard. If you're going to be podcasting or YouTube gaming or doing anything where you're going to be typing on the keyboard behind a microphone, then here is how it could sound if you're just banging relentlessly on your keyboard. Maybe you need a microphone for your podcast, but also for your YouTube channel. But on your YouTube channel, you don't want the microphone in the camera shot. Well, here is how this microphone could sound about two and a half, three feet away from me. The level is still the same on my Zoom H6, but I will boost it in post. If you're going to be using this microphone for podcasting, broadcasting, voiceover work, or just anything where you're going to want some post processing on it, then here is how it could sound with some EQ, some compression, a noise remover for when that, you know, noise level gets brought up from the compressor and possibly a de-esser as well. When I use EQ, I will of course put the graph up on the screen so you can see what moves I made and I will of course list whatever plugins I did use. <laughs> Now before we move on to the review section of this video, I want to do just one more thing. But first, I'm going to plug this microphone in. Now the reason I'm using a different microphone during a review for this microphone is the fact that I'm going to do a little bit of a blind comparison right now. And I don't want your ears to be too used to the MXL BCD1 that you can pick it out immediately. We're going to compare a microphone that is very similar to the BCD1 in a lot of ways. But as I said before, it's going to be a blind test. If you want to pause the video and say which one you liked better and which one you thought was the MXL BCD1 and potentially which one you think the other microphone is, feel free to do that. That'd be a fun time be a good time. So essentially, there's just going to be a mic A and a mic B. So let's just let mic A go ahead and take it over real quick. Here is the sound of microphone A, and here is the sound of microphone B. Once again, here is the sound of microphone A, and once again, here is the sound of microphone B. And one last time, here is the sound of microphone A, and for the last time, here is microphone B. Now, I'm still using the Shure SM48 for a minute because I don't want you to know which one was the MXL mic. Well, now that we've gone through the basics, the specs, and the testing, and we did a fun little comparison, let's jump into the review, and during that section, I'll let you know, you know, which mic was which, which one was the MXL, and what the mystery mic was. All right, now we have the BCD1 plugged back in, and let me just tell you real quick, during that comparison, I personally prefer microphone A. I feel like microphone A has really good clarity. I feel like it has a decent low end and it's also not super muddy. I feel like microphone B just had not nearly as nice high end and it was just more muddy. Now I will reveal what the mystery mic was. And during this review, it's actually been like a little Easter egg, a little hidden in plain sight, if you will. It is the Rode Pod mic and it is right there. It's been on that table the whole time. Now the Rode Pod mic is very similar to the BCD1. They both have the mounting systems, they both have incredible build quality, both dynamic cardioid microphones, 
and they're both meant for podcasting broadcasting. Now the Rode Pod Mic is essentially $100. It's like $99 or something like that. But you may remember that this is $132.24. Now that means that this microphone is essentially 32.24% more than this mic. Now that you know the price differences, do you know which one was which in the comparison? If you thought that microphone A was the MXL BCD1, you were wrong. Microphone A was the Rode Pod Mic. And personally, I thought microphone A, the Rode Pod Mic, was quite a bit better. I'm not saying that the MXL BCD1 is a terrible microphone. I'm not saying it's trash. I just feel like there have been microphones that have surpassed this in quality for a similar price or, like the Pod Mic, a lesser price. Sure, the Rode Pod Mic pretty much comes as is, but it does better on plosives, it sounds better, and honestly, I think it has a better build quality. But enough of comparing between the Pod Mic and this. Some of the things that I don't like about the BCD1 is the fact that it doesn't do very good on plosives. I've mentioned it multiple times, but I'm bummed as hell about the mounting system just breaking. I love the plastic hard cases, they're awesome, but they're not awesome enough to justify this microphone, in my opinion. But the biggest issue that I have with this microphone is that for the price of it, I just don't like the way it sounds. But the interesting thing is, I used to like this microphone. I didn't think it was like the most incredible thing in the world, but I thought it was good. When I would test this microphone out, I'd have it in my headphones and I would be like, oh yeah, like it, it's, it's fine, like it sounds, it sounds good. But then I would plug in the Rode pod mic, the Rode Procaster, and I'd just be like, oh, the MXL isn't that great. So what I'm essentially getting at is that I don't think it's terrible, but when I would compare it to microphones in a similar price bracket, I was always a little disappointed in this. So the grade that I give the MXL BCD1 is a D plus. So giving this a D plus essentially means I can't recommend this microphone. I don't think it's worth the money. And I think the sound is essentially subpar for the price. So this isn't a situation where $132 just doesn't quite cut it. You need to save more money. No, you can have 32 less dollars by the Rode pod mic. And I think you'll be happier. Thank you for watching this review of the MXL BCD1. I hope that you found it helpful, that you learned something, but most of all, I hope you had fun. If you subscribe or are subscribed to this channel, I cannot thank you enough. You are the best. And once again, thank you for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you audio nerds next time. <laughs> Duh.